Adam Booth here, Upshift Online. I am sitting on the 2019 Honda CRF 450L. Uh, we've been riding this bike for a couple days. I haven't had a chance to ride one of these yet. I've heard a lot of hoopla, read a bunch of articles. I've ridden KTMs, I've ridden everything else that's a dual sport, beta, you name it. And I was highly anticipating riding this Honda. Everybody's got their own opinion about what it does well, what it doesn't. Um, I was surprisingly uh, surprised today riding it. So I rode it a little bit yesterday, um, put some handguards on last night, which are essential for riding up here in the hills of Idaho. But some of the things that are different on this than a bone stalker is the Shinko 505 Cheater rear tire. It's a little bigger tire. It's a lot gummier in the actual rubber compound. So over the rocks and the roots on the single track, it's kind of a, it is what it is. It's a cheater tire. We've been hitting a lot of river crossings and you come out of the water, hit the rocks and it, it hooks up really well. On the front, we have the 216 uh, tire, the MX version of the Shinko, and that works really well. Another benefit, and you're going to get sick of me on these videos talking about tire pressure and tire choice before you talk about suspension settings because that is the last contact between you and your bike to the ground. But this has the tubeless system in it, which is really bitching because on the back, I'm down to about 8 PSI, and that Shinko's a really big tire, so it has a lot of absorption. It's not really the ideal pressure for like hauling ass and sliding in corners and, and tire roll, but for riding single track and getting full traction on slippery rocks and all that, it works really well. I run about 13 in the front. Um, with the tubeless, I can go even lower if I'm really gonna ride slow technical stuff. But overall, that kind of helps the feel of this bike and helps it stick. Uh, the suspension's really plush on this bike. And as it should be, it's a street bike, it's a dual sport. It's kind of just made for trail riding and comfort. Uh, so that is good. The bike's planted. The Honda 450L goes in a straight line really well. The steering isn't maybe as fast as a full uh, blown enduro bike, but you just have to put a little more body English into it, maybe brake check into the corners and, and just get the flow of this bike. But it is very satisfying to go through a riverbed or better rocks and just have the bike track straight. Uh, we did put some bolt on grips, which are nice. And those uh, offer a little more cushion in the hands. And then the other thing we did is we put an IMS bigger tank on this. This is a, uh, at least a gallon more than stock and you could easily go 100 120 miles on this uh, a lot of people are kind of against the whole dual sport being so choked up by the epa but honestly we're going up in a lot of altitude here the efi works really well it's not popping it's not flaming out and what you do have to do on this is the honda's pretty reactive to throttle input so if you're kind of at a speed where you're flowing a single track and you need to be kind of on and off the gas and you're right next to where the throttle rolls on you're going to notice a little kind of almost chain slap as you roll on the throttle something you have to cover the clutch on to be smooth in and out of the corners probably if i were to buy this bike i would put a recluse clutch on it and then you can just cheater those corners and flow through the single track without ever covering the clutch clutch pull is okay it's a little mushy Depending on where your lever's set up, I would go with a different shaped lever because this is kind of hard to pull with one finger, so I'm having to cover it with two fingers. Overall, um, it's not a race bike. It's not a KTM with a plate on it or a Husky with a plate. Those are really almost race-based machines, but it's close and it's fun and you just get used to it. Proper tire setup, proper sag, uh, that kind of choices really makes a difference how the bike performs. Overall, uh, yesterday I struggled with it a little and I changed some stuff last night. I changed some settings and I kind of just set it up better than just jumping on a bike and riding it. And I'm really happy with it today and we've been riding for hours out here and we're going to continue riding for hours. So one of the cool attributes of the Honda is Honda's very reliability based and they, you know, they make their bikes more comfortable than they probably even need to be. They test them for crazy amount of hours. Mm -hmm. But the, this Honda 450L cruises on the freeway really comfortably. Some other dual sports on the market are so race based and so off road based that the freeway, you're just not doing it. This bike will actually cruise 60, 65 pretty comfortably and the geometry and the way it tracks and everything is really smooth. And overall, it's it does a lot of stuff really well. Like I said, I heard a lot of different things about this and everybody cried about the weight and I was like, eh, and I do feel a little more weight on it. It is heavier than a, than a race-based mm -hmm. dual sport. But like I said, you get used to it, adjust for a little bit, and it's obviously gotten us up here all day and I've been having a blast riding it and I'm gonna have a blast riding it back to the, back to the town on the highway. Mm -hmm.